To treat frozen shoulder, there's two components we wanna focus in on. We wanna get the patient out of pain, and typically I'm gonna use laser therapy to remove the inflammation and to provide pain relief. Then we're gonna treat the muscular component, and I typically use two different techniques for that. One is gonna be dry needling, and then the other technique is gonna be active release technique. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate laser therapy, and then we're gonna demonstrate what active release and dry needling looks like. To relieve pain and inflammation in the shoulder, what we're gonna use is laser therapy. So laser therapy is gonna penetrate deep into the joint, and it's gonna help to calm down the irritated area and provide pain relief. This is great because it's a conservative way to relieve the inflammation. You could also get like a cortisone shot into the joint, but you're limited to three shots into a particular region. And studies have shown that it can cause premature wearing down of the joint and can cause damage to the tendons. So laser therapy is great because it's a, again, non-invasive way to treat the area. And we can do as little or as much as we need to get the patient out of pain relief. So what it's gonna look like is we're gonna apply the laser therapy right over the shoulder. And we're gonna work the whole joint. We're gonna work the back side, the top side, and the front side to get deep into that capsule and to remove any bursitis or inflammation in the joint. And it feels really good. The patient just feels a mild, deep, warm sensation, and it's very soothing. And typically, this takes about six or seven minutes to do the treatment. We'll typically do this first to help relieve the pain and inflammation, and then we'll move on to the soft tissue treatment. Now, sometimes if someone's very limited and they can barely move their arm, We'll do this actually for a few times without any other treatment just to get them out of pain because it's gonna be very limited and sometimes the other treatments are gonna to be too aggressive at this point. Once we get them out of pain, then we can start to do a lot more with the muscular treatments. One of the muscular treatments we're gonna to use to relieve frozen shoulders is gonna be active release technique. So active release technique, basically how it works is we're gonna shorten the muscle and then we're gonna contact the muscle and then we're gonna lengthen the muscle. And what that does, it helps to loosen up the muscle and restore the range of motion. What we're gonna do is we're gonna start in this position, then we're gonna bring that across her chest and she's gonna use her other arm to pull the elbow in. And I'm gonna contact the back of the shoulder. And this is gonna work the posterior part of the capsule. She's gonna go across her chest. I'm gonna apply pressure. Good, and bring it back. And this often feels like it kind of hurts good. It feels like you're getting into the right spot and relieves the pressure. And again, I mentioned in frozen shoulder, basically the humerus in the socket doesn't rotate appropriately. So with frozen shoulder, you have trouble going out to the side. And that means the humerus is not dropping down in the, in the socket appropriately. And that clears up the space for your arm to raise up. And when it's tight, it won't drop down. So this technique helps to push down the humerus into the socket and help to stretch the capsule. Then we can also work this in external rotation. So I'll put the patient's arm like that and then she'll lean into it, and then we'll stretch it that way. And those are a couple different treatments we'll do for active release technique. We'll also work the whole rotator cuff to help loosen that up. Another effective treatment to treat frozen shoulders is gonna be dry needling. So with dry needling, what we do is we apply an acupuncture needle into a trigger point or a tight area to release that tissue and to improve the range of motion. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna demonstrate that on the back of the shoulder to show you what that looks like. So one advantage of dry kneeling over active release technique is we don't have to put the shoulder through a range of motion. So if someone has very limited mobility, we can't often do the active release or it's very limited. Whereas dry needling, we can do the same treatment whether the patient has full range of motion or whether they have very limited range of motion. And that can be very helpful in treating the shoulder capsule. The other advantage of it is it can get very deep. So we can get deep into the capsule right above the bone level, and that can relieve those deeper structures that we can't necessarily get our hand into. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna place an acupuncture needle in the back of her rotator cuff. So what I'm doing is I'm feeling for the area I wanna treat. In this case, we're gonna treat her posterior capsule, and we're gonna place the acupuncture needle deep into that area, and we're gonna work it back and forth. And a lot of times what the patient feels is a little twitch. Okay, and what that is, is it's a twitch response, totally normal. And what that is, it's kind of like a neurological release of that muscle tissue or that trigger point. And so we're gonna place it in various areas throughout the rotator cuff. Now it's a very quick treatment. The needles are in a minute or so or come right out. As opposed to traditional acupuncture where we leave them in for 15 to 20 minutes, this is a very quick treatment because we're gonna be targeting the area where the problem is. The needles don't have to be left in for a long period of time. So with frozen shoulder, we're gonna apply the dry needling technique all the way around the back of the shoulder, sometimes into the scapular region. Also, we're gonna apply it on the trapezius up here because a lot of times 
as your limited range of motion, you start compensating and then you develop neck pain and shoulder pain. So often treating this area up here will relieve a lot of those knots and the tension. And then what we wanna do is we also wanna treat the front of the shoulder and then we also wanna treat the muscles in the axilla area that are part of the rotator cuff as well.